Dear friends, today we will be discussing on female urology. Female urology is by in itself a very vast topic. Okay, I will be discussing them in the three sections. All right. So female urology is a vast topic in itself, and I will be discussing the discuss them in the three sections. Okay, it will be of it will be in three parts. The first section will be on stress urinary SCI. The second section will be on pelvic organ prolapse. This pelvic organ prolapse, and the third section will be on this urogynic fistula. That is uro. Gynec fistulas. Okay. Now with this introduction, then we will go into the first part. That is the first part which we are going to see now is the stress urinary incontinence. Right. Now we will go into definition. So, what is stress urinary incontinence? What is stress urinary incontinence? So. Any abnormal urine leak which happens with happens increase in intra abdominal pressure, increase in intra abdominal pressure. So that is called stress urinary incontinence. So what does it mean? Whenever a patient strains, so whenever a patient strains, for example, when he is straining to pass a motion or when he is lifting heavy objects, what happens? There is increase in, whenever you strain, there is increase in intra-abdominal pressure, that is P abdus increasing. Okay, so what happens? Whenever there is increase in intra-abdominal pressure, this will also increase the, this will also increase the intra-vesicle pressure. It causes pressure on the bladder it increases the intravesical pressure so what happens whenever this whenever the contour mechanism is certain patient will develop urine leak okay patient will develop urine leak i'll explain here see bladder this is our bladder this is the splinter we are talking about this is the female bladder and this is the splinter we are talking about okay what happens this is our intra abdominal wall this is our anterior abdominal wall so what happens whenever the patient is straining the patient is straining so what happens there is an increase in the intra abdominal pressure so what happens naturally since this bladder is also in the intra abdominal region what happens the pressure is transmitted to the bladder this increase in pressure is transmitted to the bladder so the vesicle pressure also increases so there is increase in intra abdominal pressure that is p apt is increasing which in turn causes increase the which in turn causes increase in the intra vesicle pressure that is P versus increasing. So P versus is also increasing because we already, because we always know, take this as an example. So this is our bladder. Bladder is a hollow viscous organ and it has its own muscle layer. It has its own muscle layer. Okay. It has its own thick muscle layer. So what, what is it called? They are the detrusors. Okay. What happens? So any pressure, any pressure inside the vesicle is called vesicle pressure. It is P vis. So this pressure can be caused by two factors will contribute this intra vesicle pressure. One is the pressure from the outside. That is the pressure from that is abdominal pressure. That is P apt. Any abdominal pressure plus there is also some intrinsic pressure this detrusor muscle also will contract this detrusor muscle will contract and it produces a detrusor pressure that is it acts this pressure is generated from within the bladder okay from within the bladder so this point is important this i will discuss in more in detail when we are going into the urodynamic studies okay but first have, have this basic idea so so it can be because of increased detrusor pressure also okay so any increase in any increase in intraabdominal pressure or any increase in detrusor pressure will cause a rise in the intravesical pressure. So what happens whenever there is a high pressure in the bladder? What do we have here? This is the pelvic floor muscles and sphincters. We here we have our sphincters. What is the role of the sphincters? The sphincter plays an important role in urinary continence. So what happens even if the pressure is increasing, the sphincter also will contract and close the opening so what happens whenever the pressure increases the sphincters will contract normally the sphincters will 
contract so sphincters will contract and what happens it closes the urethral lumen it closes the urethral lumen it bring them in close approximation and closes the urethral lumen and urine leak does not happen